Well, welcome back everybody to Final Fantasy XIV Online. This is the Moogle Treasure Trove first hunt for Genesis. And we are busy leveling our character so that she can take part in more of the dungeons. Now, we came up to here because we have Lost Lambs, Wolf Rats and Pujols uh, to slay for one class. And I'm pretty sure we have... So in this area we are... Hang on, let me get this right. We came to here because we want to go to the gates because we have lost lambs, wolf rats and pugils to slay as a rogue. <clears throat> I'm not seeing marauder. I forgot. We have to join the marauders. Let me just check my... Oh, we have space for one more quest. So let's go to the marauders guild. I forgot we needed to join it. I know. These guys look formidable, don't they? Let's head on in. Find the clerk, the admin, Blathota, a receptionist, ho adventurer, curious about the Marauders Guild. An axe worth wielder needs two hands on the haft and has a blade what can chop clean through a galley's mast. If you're of a mind to learn the Marauders art, here's a bit of history. Since only the navigator herself knows when a ship will run afoul of a storm, or worse, it makes sense for the cruise carpenter to carry an axe on board, but any tool a ship can, on a ship can become a weapon, and the axe is perfect for hooking yourself over the rail of an enemy vessel, letting loose on a whirl of steel. And generally lay in waste all about you. So more seafarers took up their axe as their weapon of choice, so did the bloody art of the marauder begin to take shape, especially among pirates, where strength and skill decide your place in a world. With an eye to assembling crews of battle-ready raiders, the pirates started teaching the proper way to wield a chop and blade on their new recruits. To their new recruits. Not on their new recruits. And that's how the Marauders Guild first came to be. After the Galadian Accord was signed, the Marauders Guild was never the same. It was taken over, restructured and purged of its pirate elements. It's been reborn as an institution dedicated to naught but the teaching of axe fighting. Members of this new Marauders Guild weren't no greed-driven cutthroats, neither. They were warriors sought to use their martial prowess for the good of society. Still keen? Let me know if you decide to join. Still here. Okay, let's go talk to the Guildmaster. I know. My main character is much tinier, so she's like standing up about his midriff. Wern's own. Yes, I'm Wern's own. Axe Master, they call me. Not the most imaginative of titles, I agree, but one should not underestimate the value of directness. I welcome your interest in the guild. The art of the Marauder is used to cleave and destroy. It's not our way to simply outfight our adversaries. We seek to overwhelm them. The Marauder must be the most powerful, enduring presence on the battlefield. It must account for the most enemies defeated. Our role in combat is that of a steel whirlwind, dealing death and destruction without equal. No doubt the question has already been put to you by Blathota, but once more shall I challenge you to commit your commitment. Are you prepared for the bloody carnage that awaits an initiative of the Marauders Guild? Are you prepared for the carnage? Yes. Very well. Your name? Attend me then. Hold fast this moment of dedication. The path of the Marauder is a jagged and perilous one. The blood that spills at your feet will oft times be your own. I present you with the axe as a symbol of your commitment. Your first lesson should be how to hold it, how to grip it. Grip it in both hands and set yourself in a solid stance. Let's go. Oh, I can't believe I forgot these guys. This is our, um, our final base tank class. So we have our gladiator and our marauder. And we just leveled our rogue. Yes, shade shift. Before we go anywhere, let's remove these extraneous bits and bobs from here. Pop that down to where I need it to be. <sighs> See for character. Grab our main hand weapon. Drop it over here. Grab our gear set list. I'm so grateful to the person who taught me how to do this. Grab our create a new gear set. The Marauder is now completed. I'm going to pop this over here. Pugilist, Lancer. So everything needs to go down one. Okay, now I think we have everything. Gladiator, Marauder, Conjurer, Archer, Thaumaturge, Arcanist, Pugilist, Lancer, and Rogue. We do have everything in the base classes. Uh, but, no, we are dressed. We're dressed to impress. 
Let's talk to Wen's own. He would have us test the edge of our new axe in combat. We're not just going to cut a sway through our enemies. We're going to practice on practice it on the bleating, scurrying, crawling pests that plague the outskirts of Limsa, Liminza, Lost Lambs, Wolf Rats, and Little Ladybugs. And now you know why we've picked up those first three quests in one go, along with our hunting logs. Let's get to it. You'll also notice that we have... A very full journal. Do I have any any non-class quests for Limsa? No. Do I have any? I do have uh, some in Middle Lanasia. We can do that, and we can do that, and we we can get rid of those two quests, and that'll give us two quests worth of space that I will um that I will keep clear. Now, we need to go to Middle Lanasia, where all of our first quests are. I think we're currently dressed up as a marauder. That will do us just nicely. Off to the Zephyr Gate we go. <coughs> Here we are. Alrighty. Let me just fix this part as well while I remember. These are all over here. There. What's this? Limit break. Oh, I know what that's for. <clears throat> Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to spend a little bit of time over here wreaking havoc among the wolf rats. What is this fate? And can we do it while we're here? I am below the level for the fate. Radio. Alrighty. What level is this fate? Does it tell me? Level 4. Am I level 4 yet? I am almost level 4. Give me a minute. We'll fix this. Oh, it's that fate. Alrighty. Okay, are we now below the level of the fate? No, we are not. Oh! I don't think that nice fish likes me very much. Okay, this will be different to uh, to how we do it as. So we're, we're probably not going to get this finished. Oh my god. <laughs> Also gotta be aware that you will occasionally get um, new skills that pop up as you go. These fish are aggro, aren't they?
All right, we've done the fate and we've leveled up. That's what we were here for. Now you can see we have another class we can do with these. Let's grab our stabbers and your fambles and get going. You might remember to use two. It does make me harder to hit. Anything that makes me harder to hit is, a, is my friend. There we go. <laughs> my griffin's like, what are we doing, mum? I love rat. <laughs> you, can, you can feed all you like, little one. Okay. I'm thinking that might actually be our Arcanist. No. Marauder? Yeah, Marauder. Haha. <laughs> Don't hit the Gubu at this level. Yeah. Alright, that was my... So basically we're completing our hunting log at the same time as we are completing... There's our lambs are over here if I remember rightly. So, lambs are over here. And over here. So they're part of our mission as well as part of our hunting log for the Marauder. I kind of like it. That's why I picked up the missions as we went. All right. Just want to check my hunting log. Okay. Little ladybugs, wolf rats. Right. We've done our Marauder. We are checking our Arcanist. Arcanist needs to slay some lost lambs. Let's get to it. Grab our bunny. First thing you always do as an Arcanist. Grab that rabbit. We need to get three of these. Just waiting for my bunny to come online. You'll do. Okay, and now we have Rogue. Let me just get this. And close it. It took me a very long time to work out that um, that I didn't actually need to have that. So I need to grab my shadow thingy and put it up here. I need to move this over here. <laughs> All right, stabbers in your fambles objective fixed. Let me just check our hunting logs. So lost lambs are done for rogue. Didn't need them for marauder yet. And arcanist. All done. All right. I know, what I'm doing is just trying to work out where I've got to go next. Okay. <clears throat> Aurelia, we know where they are. Big clouds, wild dodos, tiny mandragoras. Okay, so they're all over in that area. These guys. Aurelia, wild dodos, pugils, radio. We're going to go over here. Oh, wait, I see another. Ooh, fate joined. On the lamb. What are we? Rogue. Well, we're here. Let's go find them. Here they come. Should 
should be a third one somewhere. This will do. And I say level 20 through our hunting logs and whatever fates happen to come along. I'm going to end up fighting all three of these, but that's okay. at the end of the fight. Yes. Right, that also helps us level, so now we're rogue level 7. Stabbers in your fambles, radio. Um, pugils. I forgot they're over here. I should have had my rogue out for that last fight. So it won't count. Um, Radio. That's done. Now, all right, I'm going to just divert for a minute. We're going to go J. We're going to get rid of these two, these two things. Lama C are level 15. I don't have anything up to that yet. Out to dry level 10. All right, we're going to leave those then. What we're going to do is we're going to head into, we just grab our nine so we're not being slow as wet wig. We're going to head over into um, this area and see what we can do. There's a spear. No, there's no cave here. All right, I'm my bad. There's another fate up behind us. Yeah, that's all right. We'll keep going this way. So what I want to do is I want to go into the next area where we're going to be hunting... Uh, for our hunting log. Like I said, I want to get up to level 20. I mean, 40 would be better, but we'll go to at least level 20 before we start working our way through our class quests. All right, we needed dodos. Oh, look, we need cave bats. Just made myself a little bit harder to hit. Um, our gear is going to become problematic soonish, but that's okay. not going to, um, like I said, we're not going to take any more quests at the moment. I don't think we could if we wanted to. No, we're, we're at 30. 
We have two other classes that need these. Arcanist. We are gonna go bunny. Cast. And three. And again. And again. What does four do? Oh, four heals me, that's right. So the disadvantage of doing it this way is you need to um, get your head around the abilities of several classes at once. Summon the red rabbit again. Alright, that's the dodos done for these guys. Let us change to Marauder. Pretty sure we had a Marauder entry for these. Again. Alrighty, putting my castle up there. This is weapon skill critical hits, increases damage dealt when under the effect. So that's kind of like our, um, yeah, yeah, no, one of our other skills. Um, the Mandragora are. over that way, but I just want to see if these birds are part of it. Nasty little pigeons that they are. Ah, uh, you're below the recommended level. That's fine. We don't need to worry about nesting buzzards yet. Ah, uh, Mandragora are somewhere in this vicinity. We first encounter them when we come up from under the bridge. Here we are. I forget what we were using um, all right slay we have slain our tiny mandragoras okay so marauder didn't need it no marauder does need it radio let's go Let's check our rogue. Of course. Make ourselves hard to hit. What's this? Restores hit points. Let's put that on four where all my healing skills go. Because when you're switching between classes, if you've got abilities that are similar, it often helps to keep them on the same tab so that you're not caught short when you've um, changed. So you should be able to slide theoretically into and out of multiple roles without too much difficulty um 
except for the ones that have like a lot of different abilities. Just as you get into a higher level, it becomes a lot harder. Okay, Wolf Rats, Aurelia, Wild Dodo. Excuse me a minute. Um, there are some over here. We actually don't need to go all the way back up to the other area. We'll stab us in your fambles. I think it's only three. Yeah, just three. We'll pick on one more. There's nothing more annoying than actually missing one uh, target and then having to go back. Radio. Hunting logs. Wolf rats. Aurelia, we know. Galago. Oh, now we do have to go back. I'm a bit disoriented. Give me a minute. Galago are found up in this area. Not sure why it didn't come up. Maybe I wasn't. I just wasn't me. Didn't go through Rogue. <laughs> Too excited to do the other things. So Galago are in this space up here. We just go grab them. <coughs> Little poop throwing monsters that they are. There we are, we can see their tails. Let's go and slice them down to the size. Already. Level 10, and we've learnt hide. I'm just going to pop hide up here. Achievement, come on, rogue, which is our level 10 achievement. Let's go. We're going to go find some Aurelia. H. So Aurelia are next. Wild Dodo. Galago. Okay, well, I know where these are. We do have a crab mission to do. Let's grab our Marauder. Just go around that tree. Aurelia. Bee Cloud, Wild Dodo, Bogey, Wounded Aurox, Grounded Raider. Okay, so we definitely need to go into that other area. Uh, Arcanist, Wind Sprite, Puck Hatchling, Bogey, Cave Bat, Cave Bat. We missed the Cave Bat, so that's fine. We're not that far away from where they are. So like I said, it's... um. I thought we could go into the caves from here and just check. Yeah, it is that road. <clears throat> it's pretty annoying to have to go back and do something because you missed it. And when you're doing when you're doing three classes at once, it can be it can get a little confusing, and you're bound to miss at least one. So far, I've missed two. Now, some would say I'm being a little hard on myself, but um. Bunny. I know the griffin's bouncing going, Mum, Mum, where's the bunny? You've got quite some range on the Arcana, so it's actually really good to take advantage of it. I do need to just change my board around too. Right. All right, before we go any further, Bunny needs to stay on five, Healing needs to stay on four. 
I know. Um, bubbles goes up here. It's a weakness. We'll put it up in the weakness slot. And this is where I, where I have to really start to work out what I want to do. You know what? I might actually put my rabbits up here. And then I want to put... Oh, this is where it all falls apart. Because if I keep Physic there... Although Healer is not our main role. So why don't we put Healer up here. This is going to wreck me a little bit, but not a lot. We're going to put our gem shine here. All right, let's see how this goes. That's the other thing is you always try and work out something that suits you. Um, so that when you're keying, your muscle memory is reacting before your brain registers the threat in many cases. We got a bunch of stuff to... Um... That's a wind sprite. I know, I nearly went right past them because I thought they were in another area. But it's lightning sprites that are in that area. My bad. So as you can see, we're nearly at level 10 in across our, our three warrior classes already. Um, I know, I'm looking at the time thinking it might actually be time to go fishing. But I'm really enjoying... I'm really enjoying... Let me just see if there's anyone else who has a wind sprite. Wind sprite, puck hatchlings, nesting buzzards. I know where they are. They're way back the other way. And galagos. You're just a pain of patootie, aren't you? But while we're in this area, let's deal with it. I know where the bogeys are as well. Aurelia B clouds, bogeys. Okay, so yeah, it's just the Aurelia for you. And just the Aurelia for you. Alrighty, let's go get our nesting buzzards before we leave the area. They're in the orchard. And our Galagos, which are kind of near there. That's just annoying. So we've hit level 10 with our Marauder. Furious Farmer, because what we're doing is our challenge log. Moment of your time. Ocean Roselings. We can do this. Yes. There they are. Seeing as we have the rabbit out already. And it's itching for a fight. There is no hiding. Just got to remember to switch between your um, your coloured rabbit and your and um, and get him up and running as soon as he's able. At this level, it's a little annoying because uh, we only have one rabbit.
I um I didn't work out the trick of the rabbits until the fight on the bridge with my first character the first time I played this. But basically, you um you need to use your radiant aegis in order to get the most out of your class, and it gives you these different coloured elements. And um, yeah, it I don't know why it took me so long to cotton onto it, but uh, there we go. Now the reason we're doing that is I'm I think I still need to do the challenge log for fates. Yeah. So we're doing this, we're going to earn some more XP, and we're going to earn some more gold. Um, I'm just doing them when we come to them. What we're looking for at the moment are the birds in the orchard, and the Galago, which are over there. I know, just run through their fields clear, because every farmer loves that. We need to take out three of these. So now we've got to wait for this to come up, the Radiant Aegis. We've just done our buzzards. And then we can then we can start to summon the next coloured rabbit, the next ruby rabbit. Oh, enter the beast pen. Okay, this will be exciting. The problem with leveling this fast is you don't really have time to get used to your abilities. What does 5 do? Oh, I think I know what 5 is. Where's my rabbit? Not there yet. Yeah, there it is. Don't stand there. That's a bomb. That's not good for you. So what I'm doing is just trying to keep myself out of aggro range of too many foes at once. At least unlike another game, when I target one singly to draw it away, I don't get five of them running at me all of a sudden, negating my clever ploy to avoid being murdered. I like some of these off skills because you get to um it's like having an extra attack. Nearly there. 
Uh oh. Log entry in your fate is almost complete. What we came over here was actually to uh, murder some Mogalago. We're just waiting for this coloured thing here to come up. There it is. So when I said we were going to level up using our hunting log, this is what I meant. Because the extra XP boost you get from finishing your hunting log entries is worth the time it takes to find all your targets. So you only get two shots I think out of here all right there we go now ether flow gauge we'll just get rid of that it's right in the way okay I know I'm gonna lose my thing that's okay um, hunting log before I run too far puck hatchlings bogeys grounded pirates lightning sprites those are all in the other area Marauders have Aurelia. Those are. Do I know where the bee clouds are? Ah, Summerfed. Where do I find them? Oh, Middle. Lanasir. Summerfed. Yep, that's um, past the mines in the other area. We can teleport there. We're not going to teleport for this one just simply because it's. It's far enough away from each teleport point that we might as well just run. But we are um, level 11 as our Arcanist now, which is good. So nine more levels to go and we hit level 20. We can start picking our way through the, um, the things. But like I said, the, the first two levels of your hunting log, if you can clear those, they just boost your character through their classes so much quicker. Uh, because each, each one is accompanied just by that extra, that extra reward. Some of it's not much, but once you get to the end of the... Uh, the difficulty. You um, get some more. Here they are. All right, Aurelia was from Marauder, wasn't it? There we go. Let's go cause some trouble. If our stabbers require them, yep, they do. They might fade in a little bit. Okay. I know, it seems so mean. They're just gently floating. And here we are, stabbing them. That's target practice. What? You want me to murder another one? Fine then. Sometimes you, oh no, I can't count. <laughs> Sometimes I can't count. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. I know. Oh, fate. Let's go. These little cane toad things are horrible. Where are they? There it is. I'm not picking on the around here on this thing 
Oh, I've got a level sync already. Not an invalid target. Where are they? Fates are really good ways of also learning your limits. We should just about finish the challenge log entry as well, which will give us um, again more cash and more XP, which is always good. Should be the last one. Yeah. All right. Uh, we need to go to I'm just check my hunting logs. Rally your dodos. So goblin fishes, grounded pirates, and Magello. Where are the goblin fishes? Middle Lana Sea, Summerford. Okay, I know where they are. Uh, Marauders, Bee Clouds are in Summerford. Bogies, I know where that is too. Radio. And then we have our Arcanist. Looks like we're going to Summerford, what do you reckon? Let's go. Got enough money to teleport to some of her thumbs because we've unlocked it. So um, you know how we started the day with about 4,000? We're at 17,000 in our gold. That is because we finished five fates and we completed five unique challenges and earned ourselves 10 grand. So if we do five more challenges, we are going to have another 10 grand in the kitty, which is always worth it. Always. So that's um that's not bad. <clears throat> I'm just trying to work out. Okay, these are my books, aren't they? Yeah, they're my books. So we'll sort everything out so we have them in a nice orderly spot. That's my time worn leather map. We are gonna get more of those as time goes on. So we're gonna head on to so in the low levels when there are events on, sometimes your most the most important thing you can do, there's our B cloud. I know. What marauder in their right mind goes around picking on bees? Well, obviously this one. Clearly the bees are not impressed. Um, so basically... We'll find some more now. Basically what we're doing at this point is we are leveling our character as we would in any event so that we can take part in more activities. I know our time is short, but if this is how we have to spend our events so we can take part in it in the, or in the next part, because this is part one. So none of this is wasted. And I should have food on board. We'll do that in just a minute. Okay. In here, I made a ton of food. Perception, direct hit right, spell speed, skill speed. Let's um, right click and use that. It'll give us also an extra 3% XP, which is going to help us. Uh, we're looking for puck hatchlings. I think we find them. I thought we found them outside um, Aleport, but it looks like we can get them here as well. So let's um, 
drop down to. All right, which one of you wanted to pick on park hatchlings? Okay, you guys are grounded raiders and goblin fishers and the gala crabs. Radio. And you are bogeys, wounded oryx, grounded raiders. Okay, so the bogeys and the wounded oryx are in this area. We'll head that way. You're not bogeys as well, are you? No, just these two crazy cats. All right, park hatchlings. You're picking on park hatchlings. And then you're picking on bogeys, grounded pirates and lightning spike sprites. Bunny. Uh, no. Two. I know. I should actually put Bunny on one because... Oh, and they spit fire. <laughs> okay. And one more. Alrighty. I think my bunny is still running. And we've just run out of bunny. Oh no. Grab that too. Summoning a ruby rabbit. Which may or may not be here by the time we need it. Yes. As you can see, just by following your hunting logs, you're going to outstrip the hunting log targets. Um, oh, did we discover this already? So this little area down here on your map is marked by a red dot. Any area that's marked with a red dot is a new area that you can discover and earn XP for. Uh, I think it probably had it up here somewhere, but we didn't notice. Anyway... All right, hunting log entries. I'm just looking for the bridge. So we're after pirates. Actually, they're up in Summerfit, and so are the goblins. I just have to remember where. Give me a minute. There, I think that's where the goblins are. Radio. Uh, what is the level of that fate? Okay, so this one needs. Grounded Pirates, that's all she needs from this area. And Grounded Pirates... Oh, right. Gentle Aurochs living in the cook pot. Ah, uh, yeah, the, the Gentle Aurochs living in the cook pot. Two minutes, 43. I don't think we have enough... Um... Now, last time I did this, I got myself murdered. We definitely don't have enough for this, she says. Okay, no, we're not playing with that. That one's too too difficult. Um, and we are... Wait, Aurochs, don't I have that on the list? Of course it's you. Just pick on the big mean Aurochs, why don't you? You'll notice I'm not joining the fate if I can help it. This is a point where I wish I could, um... I know, it's a minute of chaos. 
can I avoid being murdered while I do this? Because that thing I can't take on. Oh boy. Who's chasing me? If it's a normal Orox, we're good. And if it's only one, we're fine. But if it's more than one, we're in trouble. Okay. Alrighty. Level 10. Uh, now, we were looking for pirates. We've learned defiance. Now, defiance is our enmity. So I'm going to put that over here where my paladin's enmity usually is. Uh, we're going to drop back to Arcanist. And we're going to find our pirates. Alright, grounded pirates. Here we go. Make sure I have my bunny. Yeah, I am going to have to move that healing. I'm going to move it over this way. We're just going to grab our weakness. We're going to move that. Actually, let's do this. That's. It might be better if I put that there. Alrighty. Let's hit him with a six. And then a one. And then a three. And then a one. And a one. That's this. Oh, is that unexpected damage? Well, let's hit him with some of that too. I must remember to do that more often. So you only get two shots. With your ruby rabbit. There we go. You're going to get one more of these guys. Okay, that should be all of my grounded, yep, yeah, that's all my grounded pirates. Now what we're doing is we're heading up towards this area up here, which I think is where my, okay, no, that's the farm. I swear, somewhere around here there are... Okay, did I just did I go in close enough to discover it is the question. Yes, because we've been there before. Goblin fishes. That would imply they're near a river. Which would mean they might be back this way. Gonna try and go around the river if I can. I know, right through the orchard. Could you wanna clear? Just trying to remember where these goblins are. I think I have I'm going in the wrong direction. But I might not be, so let's just have a quick looky-see. Nope, here they are. Goblin Fisher, the clue is in the name. Holy snap and dooly, what is that? I'm not playing with him. He is too big and way too mean for me. He's a hunt target, that one. Where'd he go? I know, just blended quietly into the bushes. He's up here. He is here. We will stay away from the from the hunt target. <laughs> All right. Clear 
Sphere, what did you need? Okay, you needed lightning sprites. You needed Magalo. Okay, you're the one who needs the goblin fishes. Radio goblin fishes. I only need one. <laughs> right. Okay. Next. So we needed Magella crabs. Oh, someone needed pirates. Is it you? Grounded pirates and grounded raiders. Let's get them. This would be a little more interesting because we've got to get in close. I know, I want to finish my level 1 log entries this episode for these guys. I don't want to spark the captain, so we're going to just pick off what we can from the edges. Failing that, we're just going to kill them all. See what I mean? Now we're fighting on two fronts. Three fronts. I better remember to use this. And get out of that. He's not going to let me fight murder his brethren in peace and neither should he. Let's reduce our damage, let's weaken his hits, let's hit him again. This is why I didn't come in the back because the captain is just as aggro as his friends. Grounded raider. Oh, okay good, my hunting entry for something is complete. <laughs> I think we've taken out everything we needed to. Let me just go this way. I've got someone coming after me. Okay, so I don't need any more grounded pirates. Okay, let's check our hunting log. <laughs> I know, right? Goblin fishes, cave bats, grounded pirates. We're just after Magella crabs for the rogue. <sighs> bogies for the marauder and grounded raiders. Let's get our grounded raiders and then head back for our bogies. Uh, for our marauder. Where is he? I'm probably going to have to end up taking out two of these guys. Whoop! Captain What's his face does not like me murdering his men. Let me just wait till he um, stops chasing me. He seems a little upset for some strange reason that I can't fathom. <laughs> Here we go again. What does four do? I don't know. I don't even have my aggro flag flying. Why are you guys so mad at me? What is this? Overpowered. Oh! Uh, let's put that up there just for a minute. Seriously? Alright, well fine. We're just going to have to do it the hard way. This is the hardest thing about these classes too. Is you've got to get up close and personal. Oh, 
I didn't want to attack him, but fine. I may have to run away. I should be using my mitts too. I know, I'm always whining at my tanks that I, that I look after as a healer to use their mitts, and here I am, completely forgetting mine. Alrighty. Are we done? No, I've got to kill one more. Now he's using his mitts. See, I should just use mine. Pirates know better. Oh, for... Don't want to play with you. I want to play with you. You. Thank you. Ah! Oh! Now who's chasing me? Just need to get one more grounded raider, and then I'm gonna. Oh, that's Captain What's His Face mad at me as anything. Right. <laughs> uh, while they head back, let's go back and get our bogeys. I know, right? Painful. But we did take take out our targets. Where's my nine? So we're heading back toward this little red dot somewhere here. They make such cute little squeaky noises, these things. Alrighty. Now what did we have to get? Magallo crabs. You know what, we don't have to run. I don't think. I think we can get closer. Swift perch, wine paws. Port, Summerford. No, we can't. We have to run. Alright, I gotcha. Sai, let's go. We need the bridge. There it is. So it's been a relatively successful day. We've cleared a couple of our... Um... I know, we didn't go fishing. I was thinking that I should go and get my um, my Moogle to tombstones, and then I got so caught up in actually trying to finish my hunting logs that I forgot. Beast gauge unlocked. Excellent. Okay that I completely forgot to get there. So what I want to do is go down here. We have a mission. Um, to kill Magallo crabs. So we might go and do that and while we're finishing our hunting log. And I think I've got rogues. Rogues don't like Magallo crabs. Yeah, so marauders. rogues and the arcanist has a lightning hatching hatch lightning sprite hatchling right so and then in our journal we had out to dry um which is to slay magella crabs so we'll just put that one at the top we need to slay five of them we're going to slay more than that because our, um, our hunting logs demand it. So Marauder up first. Three. One. Two. One. Two. One. How many of these do I need to do? Three. Let's go find another one. 
Shearing Sheridan. We are not playing with Shearing Sheridan, I'm afraid. <laughs> A, because at three minutes we're not going to finish the fate. Um, and B, because he will shear us. Absolutely shear us. Although I should probably try it anyway. I just don't feel like dying again today. Or did I? Yeah. Okay, two of three. Hopefully that wasp thinks I'm too big and mean and scary to murder. Should be using my mitts. Should be in the habit of using my mitts. I should be doing it without thinking. You know, in the same way you get out of orange squares. Okay, we have slain three Magello crabs. And we have earned ourselves... We earned ourselves 2,500 XP on top of all the other XP we are doing it. So now we're on to this one. Um, and we won't chase these yet. Yet, 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 because we are chasing the last one. So we'll get another 2,500 for our rogue. It should be enough to level us. Rogue. Right, that's it. <laughs> Gotta remember to change it. We've just activated. Oh no, don't remove it. Just activated a handy little ability for the rogue, which I probably need to move somewhere because it's not part of the attack sequence. So basically, until you get all of your attacks, your um, did we finish it? No, I need one more. Um, you, you're constantly rearranging your attack sequence, which does make it hard for muscle memory, but. It's worth it once you find the pattern that works for you. Okay. Now, if I remember rightly, that should be enough for us to... Um, we've got unlocked our difficulty level. Yep, jackals, moles, dodos, maybe roll, moles, puck hatchlings again. So annoying. Because um, that means we have to go back the other direction. But they're a little bit higher up for us. Uh, these guys are on their new ones. So the Arcanist just needs lightning sprites. Alright, let's just jump into our Arcanist. We're going to give them a little bit of a boost. They're already on 12. They probably don't need a boost, but we're going to anyway. Just going to 9 because I'm tired of moving this slow. But uh, it doesn't take that long to level up. Uh, if you remember, whoops, not to run into lamp poles or try and dive into the ocean. Take care of them. Good bloody work. Still, it won't be long for a new cool crab to come sidling in to claim, claim the territory. Our loads just keep getting heavier. What with the rebuilding going on? If I don't want to be buried under a mountain of crates, I best think I'm more last in solution to this snipper problem. Alright. So, what did I say we had to get? Puck hatchlings. No, we had to get lightning sprites. Lightning sprites love to float around outside Swift, swift Perch. Let's go get them. These are our last for our level one. Our level one hunting log. For the Arcanist, what did I tell you? Lightning sprites. Let's make it entertaining. Bunny. 
Zap it with that. Hit it with this. Hit it with a three. Hit it with a five. Hit it with a one. And one. What's this do again? Orders Carbuncle to execute Radiant Aegis. Right, so shield me, basically. I've got to remember to use that a lot more often. So I might put that. So Resurrection. Oh wait, I've got Resurrection already. Resurrection goes here. Sleep normally goes up here. Okay. Unexpected damage is always nice. What's this? This is my physic. See, I don't normally have that there. Where do I normally put that? So it's these two here. So I'm going to put that over here. Ten. And I'm going to put my energy drain over here. Right. I'm going to put physic. So I normally have physic down that bottom row. Now I'm going to need that space for a bunny. Um, right, I'm going to put that on six then. All right, let's see how we go now. Control three. No, control two. That's why it's not working. Then go to four. And four again. Back to one. Smack it with a ten. Change targets. Hit that with a minus sign. Hit that with a ten. Hit that with a one. Activate the rabbit with a three. And again with a ten. So these are our fill-in attacks that we can use while we're waiting for our rabbit to activate. Might just heal myself. Unlock the difficulty rank. Guys, on that point, with our last difficulty rank unlocked, or our first difficulty rank unlocked, we're in the perfect area for a lot of these other things. We are going to head out. I know I've got a bit of running around to do for the next lot. That's annoying, but we'll be fine. I'm going to bid you adieu. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. And I'll check you later. Take care out there.